Welcome back to Ixion. My name is Nilaus and I am your administrator. We are on the run from uh, from the Piranesi. It is a formidable opponent and we don't really have any uh, good countermeasures. Well, we do have countermeasures. We have our, uh, our, what is it called? Countermeasure? Yeah, our countermeasure missile and we have some, again, something. But look at that. They're sending another drone swarm at us, which really sucks because I was planning on just settling in here for a bit. And now there's another drone swarm coming in. That is a uh, kind of uh, problematic. Uh, we're almost out of things to discover in this uh, sector. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, there we go. Not, not quite. We have a little bit of water out here. Right. So first of all, thank you very much for your continued uh, interest in this series. And uh, I really appreciate it. It's super amazing. Also, uh, another thing. Uh, I can see that uh, there are some people who have very, very strong opinions about what I do wrong, and uh, I'm not even going to comment on it. Uh, the things, 95, if not 99% of the comments are just 100% incorrect. So, sorry, I do know what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to do this. A lot of what I do is making sense. Like, for example, why? Oh my God, am I not using the farms? Look at this. They're not. They're not busy. They're not being used. So why upgrade something that is working fine? Uh, oh, but you could save uh, you could save power. Who cares? You could save, thing. but taking it out is super risky. So I don't need that. So I don't really want to do those kind of things because they're risky. Uh, what we do have like a little bit of an issue with now is uh, over here. Is that our well, we're recycling? Uh, this six is recycling. We are might actually be uh, in a little bit of position where we um, we can't use everything. Well, there we go. So we have too much material, and that also goes to the oh, argument that I shouldn't have four of these. I don't care. I have, I have two thousand element alloys. I can't use it fast enough. I need to do something about it. <laughs> so that is uh, a probe has completed its That's game. the thing. Okay, so we are now actually being attacked by this one. We have restocked. Warning: Entering Piranesi drone controlled area. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's run away again. Damn, it's really just getting us, doesn't it? Well, one of the things that I want to do in this uh, episode, we are still, the Barsherville is coming back because it kind of lost its crew. Uh, only one guy was left. Uh, the Stanford is completing. We have our colonization complete. So let's see what's going on right there. Temporary test colony has now been established. The colonists will periodically transmit reports on their progress. These will provide us with valuable field data. Absolutely amazing. Leave the planet. Didn't get anything, we did get that test count. But now we have the Stanford, and Stanford can then move in here and start looking at what the hell's going on here at the Pulsar and learn something about it uh, based on our uh, our contact, our secret contact from the Sector 1 science team. Oh, we might actually be out of this. Yeah. Looks like, oh, ah, there's a little flicker here. Ah, there's a little thing. All right, so that might be very much it for us. All right, so the Barsherville comes back and gets new crew and then goes on the exploration quests. Uh, in here, we are going to pop open the last sector. And let's have a look at, uh, also like in terms of happiness. Yeah, I, I like having like a nice buffer of happiness so that when shit hits the fan, it uh, it, it should be okay. Uh, we are gonna go open the last lock. Do we need it? No. Do we want it? Yes, indeed. And this one will have serve some some different purposes. It's not sort of a, will have not have a clear purpose as this, uh, as the other ones. But it'll be uh, available for some of the things we want, as well as uh, splitting out some of our crew. Because if we look at how many we have, we are coming up on well over eight thousand eight hundred on each one. Uh, we could also start allowing them to get more. No, a six to one. Uh, and let's see. Okay, so these two are now out, so we can actually take them out. There should be okay, and then I, I want to build a big one for uh, for the alloys in this location. I think that's the most important, so we have m better support for these uh, moving forward. That's why I'm I'm doing it this way, and I do have still a bit of uh, of this, and it's just continue chugging along at six per cycle. So that's a uh, like it's, it's six per cycle. This one is taking. Uh, let's see, it should be six per cycle. Yeah. It keeps working. This one should go up to 800. Not that it really works. Sector 5, also 800. I, you want to get up everyone up to 800, right? Oops. And here. No. Uh, there. Check, check. 
We could probably do that in more detail, but now we just do this one. There we go. And this will now be... Come on. Highlighted as alloys afterwards. Oh, this is ironic because it won't actually be able to build it until I switch this one over to the other one. That's actually kind of funny. Um, but if I let the, all the 15 come in here, then by the time that's done, I switch it over to the other one. Come on, you can do it. A side ship has arrived at its destination. There you go. So it actually uh, worked just fine. I am going to switch it back to that so that when this one's online, uh, it will get there. Yes. We also heard that a sign ship is online. So has arrived on site. Perfect. And what about the Bajerville? Bajerville is almost reaching us. Almost, almost. And once it has reached, it is now fully crewed. And I'm going to send it back to this one, I guess. Oh, look at that. That uh, station is already spewing out power. That's brilliant. We're going to wait a little bit with this until we have all the signs claimed. We have a new location open. And we have a message. Uh, all sectors of the tech have been locked. The crew feels motivated knowing that the station is fully operational. Perfect. That's amazing. Great. So we need to start working on this part again. And I have um, hmm, I have a plan. I always have a plan, don't I? Uh, this plan will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So already made a little mistake there. And the other side will be... And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Great. A probe has completed oh, this is brilliant. Scan. Brilliant. And then I can, at these locations, I will now be building the stuff that I need. I need... Uh, oh, I can't build it here, which is exactly where I want to build it. So we're going to have to build it somewhere else. Uh, we'll build it in these locations. And they will just get started. This is good. And we can then just continue on this. There's always like a joy to to do these things, I feel. It's so rewarding, This uh, just picking up stuff and just seeing the structure of this one get, get established. And in the meantime, we can jump in and start working on the Pulsar. According to the Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate, the Pulsar at the center of the system is the key to defeating the Piranesi. Yes, please. We are in orbit over 12A. The Pulsar is huge. Preliminary uh, analysis confirms the forecast from the Sector 1 Scientific Syndicates. We will do everything we can to find a way to use the power of the Pulsar against the Piranesi. Analyze. 10 rounds. Oof, that's a lot. All right, Barsherville, where are you coming? You are almost in here, so as soon as you get in, well, we'll let you uh, harvest the science and then get on with it. All right, another missile is inbound. We will be countering with our missile counter. It comes out here. Good. And we actually have uh, the science collected here. So 12L, what are we up to at this location? Oh, nothing. Oh, right. It was just picking that up. Oh, damn. That was uh, what a giant waste. All right. Well, you're going to go back here now to pick up that location and start working on here. That was just something we probably forgot to pick up last time. Oh, well, we also have this one for pickup, but our trickling here and in our middle sector here. Well, it's all happy good that I did build all this network. Unfortunately, this little idiot is deciding to do the wrong ones. He should be over. He uh, should be over here and figuring it out. But it is what it is, and we'll just have to wait for it to be done. A science ship has a, a cyber attack launched by the Piranesi has disabled several missiles. OK, so we have to. Uh, Jump on through here and make sure that we enable the there. Go through all of these. Just make sure we enable them. It's funny. Uh, it's it's such a small thing, but it's it has. I think it's a nice one. Like it's not a, it's not a big deal. It's easy to counter. But hey, if you don't do it, uh, if you forget it or whatever, then it's just gonna be a bad time, right? So that's. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Um, like it's low impact or it's high impact, but also low difficulty. All right, we got a lot of stuff here, so we can finally start making stuff. And the first one we're going to have to make is this one, and then you can get here. That can actually be for once placed in the correct location. And let's get some population centers for this. Let's get three of those and also start working more on... Yeah, that one's... Now it can build here. Perfect. There. 
And I'm going to get another one of these. There, that's three. You know what? I'll actually... Do I want to remove that one? Not really. Uh, that is pretty much what we want to do, right? Now, we also want to do sort of the stability stuff. Let's get the DLS. I'll get it in here. And I will get the... Uh, recreation center alternate life i use this very very much uh and i'm really happy about that so here we go we have now claimed everything uh this one should be for that which means we can remove that and then they are ready to work here we are can also start working on this one the 12l first readings of 12c oh 12c indicate the presence of extreme intense meteorological activity on the planet initial imagery captures hexagonally shaped cyclones the planet's core appear to be surrounded by a layer of liquid hydrogen many moons over 12c surrounded by clusters of asteroids in unusual arrangement preliminary survey have identified many telluric promontories promontories, promontories uh, emerging from 12c's ocean of liquid hydrogen we should be able to establish a research site upon one of the promontories with the help of a gaseous planet exploration we have that uh, from this closer vantage point, we can see the asteroids that surround the planet's moons. They're almost perfectly spherical in shape. Started the moons. All end. Uh, I think we'll start by the... I think we'll start by the moon. I just don't... What I really find difficult is the, the part where we don't know which one is... You do one or the other, or you do which one you do first. Because, of course, we want to do first. And it just seems like we can study the moons just safely, and then we can drive down afterwards. Let's do that. Because that's more risky to dive down than to stay there. Five rounds more or five cycles more. And in here we can continue our build. Warning. Entering Piranesi drone control Ah, damn it. Area. They've uh, sent another one towards us. I didn't even notice that. All right. Well, that sucks. So we move on to the next one. 2.7 cycles. Off we go. At this point we are uh, just happily flying away. Oh, that's a beautiful background planet. Nice. Didn't they say they were hexagonal cyclones? Hmm, that's not hexagonal. And we are just An catching up here. Oh. Uh, that's fine. Um, and here it's 0 0.4. We'll just look inside. Oh, right. We don't have any. Oh, that's kind of miserable. Uh, we're going to build some of these here. Uh, these are the first ones. Uh, we'll also build more by later on when we get there. This just goes out. And I'm going to get a... Yeah. Science ship team has completed a task. There you go, that should be Our fine. Um, oh, science task completed. Something. Yes, awesome. Right here. Let's see. Reports uh, from the team of the Barsheville indicate <clears throat> that we, that what we thought were asteroids are in fact telluric satellites orbiting the moon of 12C. A succession of smaller and smaller satellite bodies were observed in a helical arrangement. The team theorizes that this continues to the subatomic scale. Hmm, interesting. A large amount of Frau's tachyons have been detected in the atmosphere of 12C, as well as surrounding many of the moons. All right, 55. Now we're going to do the deep dive. 55 is nice. Um, did we get everything at all the locations? Yeah, we could start getting more in if we felt like it but i don't think we really need it we still have enough of these uh, inbound and we don't really need more people until we get uh, get the next the piranesi has launched a missile targeting the tycoon right as long as it's a missile and not a drone swarm because we're kind of running out of places to hide uh, we're gonna send that off the countermeasure all good we're close to this one so uh, we are also finally arriving here at the uh, 12f and as we wave at 12 off, we can get some power online in the station again and get moving. That was kind of a little bit of a mishap here. Uh, we see we have Detector 4. Yep, yeah, they're all starving, all 40 of them. They don't have a place to stay. They're really the unhappy. Team uh, they has completed a task. Yeah, they're very unhappy. But uh, as soon as this one gets done, then we are all good. They can get in there. And we now have the science team actually completed. That did complete in here. What about the other one? 0 0.9. All right, let's figure out what we have to do and what we can do here at this location. We have taken many readings and conducted a comprehensive analysis of 12A's activity. We are able to submit a proposal that adapts the Tycoon's infrastructure architecture and allow the hull to work like a Faraday cave. We have also developed a theoretical device that we have named Icarus 3. This device will allow us to induce a pulse from the PSR 
Uh, to proceed the Tycoon Tech Lab, we'll need to analyze the remaining data and fabricate construction patterns. So two more researchers. Good thing we have tons of research stacked up. And construct. Uh, requires technology Icarus 3 Pro. Okay, so we can't build that yet. I don't know if we need to get there or not. It doesn't say we need to get there. Uh, leave and get back later. Uh, let's see. Do we want to leave and get that back there later? Nah, this research should be pretty proud. Ah. Its threat level has increased. Nice. He will attack more frequently. There. We'll get this one first. Uh, close transmission. We'll get this one first. And we'll get the Faraday cage afterwards. So that 32 is probably going to be the same time as it takes to uh, collect the science. We have now researched the technology necessary here, so we probably should, uh, we can we can get in here and construct the Icarus. Let's do that. Five turns of constructing the Icarus thing. That's good. Uh, the Pyronisi is activating more systems. That means it's, it's probably also flying faster, I would imagine. Uh, we're going to go up there afterwards, but here we're just claiming the science. We can take a look inside as well on our new sector. It's not really getting that fast because we just had a breakdown here. I want to make more construction or more workshops for construction so we can construct faster. After that, I want to... Oh, you're working on this one. You shouldn't be working on this one. Damn. All right, when this is done, I hope it goes here and I go. hope it goes here. Uh, yeah, okay, so this one is... Oh. <clears throat> oh, it broke down and then it stopped here and then it started on this one again. That's perfect because then we can get two constructors now after, after this is done. That is going to be much nicer. And that is now done. You can be taken out and then we can have one focusing on this build and another one focusing maybe on one of these two builds and we then need to start throwing more people in here as we continue to expand let's go out on the overlay map this is now ready for construction the atmosphere of 12c is extremely hostile while we were conducting our surveys, a cyclone rose up and pinned us down. Uh, yep, exactly. And myself were separated from the others when the winds board abated and gave us some respite. We did manage to regroup. However, the others, their suits are orange in color. It's not from environmental factors. They are insistent that those have always had orange suits. This is clearly untrue. Uh, Masa and myself are wearing the standard yellow dollars yellow. There indeed our crewmates and medical and phys psychological analysis does not reveal any deviance. Uh, leave the others. Nah, we want to bring them all back. We want to figure out what the hell is going on with that. That's really weird. Okay, we can't stick around here for too long, to be honest. Reconfigure the tycoon's hole. Oh, we can. We got the research here, so we can now do another research. Faraday cave. Look at that. That's a lot of... Uh, finally, we have a use for all of our... The polymers after the, we get all the solar panels you don't really have a use for it so now we certainly do have a use for it that's for sure in here uh, this is now working this is almost working that is good we are starting to sort of make progress uh, in this sector we also have an infirmary we have the two happiness things here and once that happens we are also going to need to send in more people here yeah let's send in more people where do we have an excess we have an absolute insane excess of uh, of, of workers in section one that's crazy from sector one to sector four, uh, we can send. We can send one hundred and not even worry about it. Yeah. Okay. We can send ninety and not even worry about it. There we go. And let's also send some non-workers. I mean, as much as I'd like that, that's not a good idea because we don't have the housing for it. Uh, yeah. So we'll get more housing. We'll get more housing here. Once we have, we'll just build housing all the way over here just to keep that going. I think it's time for us to get the hell away from this location. The Piranesi is dangerously close. And the great news, it has also launched a, uh, a a drone thing on our location. So let's get out of here. Uh, it's I think it's actually kind of important to make sure that it actually launches a drone on our current location. So we can keep running away to the next one. And this drone will only target this. Uh, so that we have, like, we can leave it behind. So we can go here, we can go here, and we can go here, which is kind of close. And then we can go over here without being in drone uh, drone area. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit uh, critical. We also have this one still working. In the meantime, yeah, I wanted to build some some. I I've been prioritizing this, but unfortunately, that was just not possible for me to to get these up and running fast enough. So we are unfortunately shut down completely in this zone for now.
So the science ship team has completed the task. That is excellent. That means it's in here and they are processing that. And I, yeah, I want to take it. I want to see. Icarus 3 is ready for launch. Wait the pulsar. Construction foundation required. Okay. And leave it until later. Um, yeah. All right. We're going to stick around here to claim this. And I'm probably just going to stick around here for that let's have a look in sector one where we are building this in the eva bay it's taken quite a while to get this stuff inbound and i might even be in sector one polymers let's just get it a little bit more in here just to, to flow it faster into this location why do we have it in sector four? Oh, we don't have an infirmary okay uh, but we have lights on again so that's good so we are uh, just barely flickering on the lights as long as these are getting built that's good then this one will be the next one in high priority. And then we can uh, start looking at some other things that I want to build in here. Now, one of the things that I really wanted to build here is the colonization thing. Because I really don't want to have it in here. Uh, this is the reserved. The has launched a missile targeting the Typhoon. There. I don't want, the, I don't want um, this to be confused and do that. That's weird. There we go. I want like dedicated locations, and that means colonization will be in our new sector uh, for sure in moving forward. So the Barsherville is coming over to that location. That's good. We have almost cleared all of this. Is there any more we need to do? No, not really. Uh, it's only like working on the on the Friday cage, and then we can uh, get the hell out of there. Uh, okay, so we have one. We have one, two locations that we haven't taken yet, and we have uh, potentially the Stanford can. What? Oh, there you are. Stanford can go over here and just claim some science for the time being. So just sit here and claim science. That's pretty good. More nanofilters. We have to make sure that we don't accidentally use all of our nanofil uh, all of our power for this. We can finally get the 20 less workers for the nuclear power plant. That's great. Working towards the next one is power cost reduced by 10. Has good. Arrived at its destination. Uh, aside from this, we already th there's not really a lot in here that's super urgently must get this part uh, we want to get we want to get like this is under steel mill and purification so we can we can get all of these all these things if you want to they're not super necessary we're also having a little bit of an issue with the piranesi is getting closer so the fact that we our ship is faster is a good idea uh, we are now almost all of all of the science has been claimed and then we can uh, get you in here and start this mission there all right, summary, 12F has an average temperature of 112 Kelvin, a number of hotspots were detected across the surface. We have landed on 12F, its surface is covered in ice, and the planet is bathed in a red mist around 100 meters in height. And numerous ice formations pierce the mist and extend skyward. The atmosphere radiates a blue light when illuminated by the system's pulsar. Sweet, we'll set up the big one. Setting up infrastructure capable of supporting exploration and geological analysis will allow the Barsheville's team to map the site's topographical topography and molecular composition. Despite being a time-consuming approach, the team will analyze large amounts of data with the help of a dedicated PEA to ensure, yes, absolutely, sweet. And that is always Pandora doing this. Great, and that will take a bit of time, but let's have a look inside here, over in 61. Uh, Pandora, this one, this is where we will be filling up for the Pandora, so that's good. Should be everything should be possible to pick up in a single load because they can pick up 53 at this point. So that is in uh, exactly what we need. We're always we're also 100 away from this, so just a little bit more. Um, you're not dangerously close, but you're you are getting closer. Inside our new sector, what else do we need here? Um, not much, I think. Uh, get these out, get this out, this one, and, and I guess this is going to be how we take those out. Almost everything is done. I am going to take all of this out. Because this is going to be needed for something else. Let's get population. We can get population here and here. Yes, I'm boxing them in. And that one. Okay, uh, what else do we need? We definitely need to kill this. No, we can kill this one first. Let's do that. And then from here on, I am leaving. Definitely. Oh, finally we can get this. We're leaving this one a bit out of the way. And now there is a 9x9 nine nine location here. Perfectly fitting here. Perfectly fitting here. And then there's a lot of 9x9 nine nine here. This 9x9, nine nine, I am not going to uh, get that 
just yet taken out, but um, we'll get it. And all, oops, those are definitely the old school buildings. We don't do that anymore. Who oh, do? No. Here, we just step down as many as we can get away with here. Now, we've also cleared this part and we want more batteries, so we're just gonna smash a few batteries down here. Yeah. Yeah, this looks uh, stupid, but it's it's less stupid than it looks. Uh, okay, it's a little bit stupid. And I'll do that one. All right, that is good. We are ready for the next. All right, as much as I like hanging out at this location, I think it's time for us to get the hell away from us. Uh, it is a little bit too close for comfort, so let's uh, move out of the way. Go, go, go. Off we go. Wow, this is like a continuous uh, chase, and uh, we do need to finish up this Faraday cave cage. At this point, though, we should have enough power in this sector. Uh, yeah, 11. We're not using very much uh, in this sector, so this, uh, this, these, just these little four ones will be just fine. And I'm going to be continuing to train colonists continuously, I think. What well, means we'll actually need to transfer people. We have a lot of here, so let's go from... Let's transfer, like, maybe like 200, 300, maybe even. Yeah, let's throw 300 over there. 300 the non workers AC from. Has activated more Damn. Its threat level has increased. There. Let's he get those over there. More frequently. Ooh, then we got less than 800. We don't want to be less than 800, so we can always just. Uh, yeah, let's just transfer 20 non workers from 2 to. Three. There we go. So that's above 800 again. 800 is the magic number where we get it, where we get the bonus from this one. And so let's keep feeding this, this population center, like that. And we also need to take out population transfer yeah. complete. And maintenance on this one. And what do we want to this? I think I'll take that. In the oh, accidents, accidents, accidents. Right, but we're flying away from this, and you are working. Good. And let's just check up on the Friday ca case to see how far, far we are. Oh, is it done? I think it's done. Is it done? Wow, that, that was quick. Yeah, it's done. Sweet. All right, let, look at that. Us running. Okay, uh, that means I need Stanford. We need to get the hell back here fast before it's too late. Whew. Okay, uh, while we're running away from... Oh, the Piranesi is pretty damn quick now we can actually see it moving on the world map yeah we might want to hurry up and get in here and do this part yes please the piranesi has launched a missile targeting the tycoon it is so freaking close we need to charge those batteries quickly now we just arrived here and now it's coming in again it is so ridiculously fast now um so uh, we can't really stick around here for much longer. We just need the battery. Oh shit, look at that. There's a problem. Someone is uh, using too much power. If only we had like nuclear power plants that we could just turn up like this. And then suddenly we'd have enough power and we could uh, charge all the batteries a lot faster. Thank you very much. Uh, please output more power. Why is it not outputting more power up here? Like, I don't get that. It should. I just cranked it up to 200. How is this one not changing? There we go. Okay, so it's only changing after a bit. So that gives us a lot faster recharge here. Great, and it's a little bit close and it's also sending other crap at us. So let's fly to the next cycle. Okay, charging speed is actually, okay. Hey, this this is getting a little bit more intense than I'd like it to be. Um, good thing we have so many batteries working. Come on. Stanford, fly faster. We need you to build this damn thing. The New good thing is... coordinates have been set. What? The tycoon no, it's is not. now moving towards the Piranesi. Oh, please don't. Yeah, Eden is screwed. We uh, need to a get this one done. Sunship team has completed a task. Sunship team has completed the task. And... Sunship team, yes. Here, let's figure out what they've completed. There we go. Sample analysis indicates that the outgassing of nitrogen dioxide from the, below the surface of 12F and subsequent atmospheric mixing result in the red mist uh, which dominates the planet's lower atmosphere. The team of the Varsheville 
uh, was also able to establish parallels between the data sets collected on Croc P43 and 12F's geological activities. Abnormal levels of Frau tachyons were detected beneath the planet's surface, which the cause of which remains unknown. And then we can just leave? Really? Just leave? That's it? Mm, that was kind of boring. Uh, okay. Did we arrive? No, we haven't arrived. Come on, little ship. Fly into the sun. It's okay. You can do it. A science ship has arrived at its destination. It has arrived. Let's see what uh, our options are. Wake the pulsar. Five turns. We're going to wake the pulsar now. Uh, and in the meantime, we are just going to be desperately running away from this uh, location. And let's see. We are working on this. We're working on this. Everything in here looks just the way that it should be. As these are coming online, I'm going to take this out. So I think you're working. But if I can just high priority you, otherwise it never gets done. And then we can free up some more space. Great. Oh, this one is not working. Ah. Warning. Entering oh damn, it's really close. Area. Let's get the hell out of there. Go, go, go. I was just... Oh my god, that's so close. That is so close. It is coming up so close for us. Um, yeah, 2.8 still. Let's get out of here. But at least... Alright, it's because it's inside the drone swarm. And that is pretty nasty, the drone swarm. Weather? Yeah, 100, minus 120 for the weather. Yeah, we don't want that. Accident has occurred. Accidents occurred. That's fine. Uh, we are still claiming the science back here on this one. And then we have one location remaining. And then we also have our that one. But uh, what we are going to do is we're going to just try to survive here. We want to go up here and then fly around to this location. Hoping that we don't lose all of our battery charge while flying through this. And we're also going to drag this right afterwards. It is just ridiculously close to us. And this is considering the fact that we have the fastest ship we can get this is I, I don't think we could run away if we didn't have this that's kind of uh, kind of insane and when it comes to research we're just gonna get more research for the drones because why not they're pretty good and uh, nothing here this is so far away to get that yeah the Piranesi has launched a missile targeting the tycoon and more missiles drone controlled area Entering Piranesi drone. Oh yeah, shit. That's uh, that's true. It is a drone controlled area. That's not great. That's gonna hurt us uh, a lot. Um, do we have all of them online? I love the fact that people are saying like, oh, you don't need all of them. Oh, I, I sure as hell need all of them when we are being chased by the Piranesi. Uh, we are just gonna land here safely and then get a little bit of charge and then we'll be uh, moving forward. The Barsherville goes over to the next location. It's still 1.2 away. We are just going to land here and get a little bit... Look at that. Look at how fast we charge now. And we're just taking a beating here. And as the batteries recharge... What is the battery charge at the one that's lowest? Four is the lowest. And how far is it to this one? It's 2.5 cycles. But, oh my god, it is close. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. And despite our... Yeah, that is... This is, this is problematic now. Okay, we really want to target that, uh, hit that pulsar. I think the mistake was moving it away in greed. Uh, so that now that we we had to spend like 2.6 to move it back here. All right, we're going to do that and then see what happens. All right, we have finally completed the task here. That is excellent. But what are we going to do about it? Well, uh, we are simply going to leave it as a cliffhanger. So uh, we are right here. We Icarus 3 has detonated and activated the pulsar. Ah, the Stanford took the full force of the pulse. Oh no! Everyone's dead. At least, oh, the ship is even destroyed. Oh, that, that was... Oh no. Was that good or bad? I guess we'll find out next episode. Ha! Take that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you will be keeping up with the series. I'm going to be cranking them out until we are done with the series over the rest of this uh, Christmas uh, season. So uh, stay tuned for the continuation tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.